Hey guys, what's up? It's Rupee Seeking here. This is Shadowgate, and it's $9.99, I think. There's three different versions. One says Shadowgate Special Edition. Up oh, that's an upgrade. It's $14.99, or you can upgrade and save no money. Because the Special Edition is $24. Okay. Young Jair Kathaka, soldier of Windermere. Welcome to the tutorial. Sure. Click on any object. I don't know why I pronounce that weird. In the game and command icons. Okay. Thick green roots twist through the dense foliage. A faint glow with the eye sockets. A key. Objects, example, a key you take are stored in your inventory. Okay. To use one object on another, first select the object. Okay. You turn the key, unlocking the door. To open and close, the open and close command. You can use the go command or double click to go through open doorway. Okay. Blackmere was a fool to send a child to do that which even the vaunted circle of twelve could not. Contain my growing power. Come if you wish. It makes little difference. Seal your fate within this living castle of the dead. Okay. Use and stationary objects. Do you see the lever on the right? Because it is a stationary, non-takeable object. Okay. But I just took it. Oh, that was a torch. Where's the lever? Oh, the lever's on the ground. Okay. The door is locked and therefore will not open. I have the key. Okay. Your map. In the lower left next to the satchel is the map. The back arrow. In the lower right next to your torch. Okay. You can save and load the game at any time, and that's important since Shadowgate is a dangerous place. Click on the gear. You can learn spells from certain books and scrolls. Should I save? Your game was saved. I'm just going to collect all of the torches. A damp, musty breeze. You find no obvious cause of death. Where's that? How do I read this? You read the hastily scrawled writing on the parchment. Since it is only a means to capture and control the elements, you must hide the silver orb beyond the waters of the sewer. You read the message scrawled on the page. Brown, I have your dog. Okay. You can search and loot various objects in the game by selecting the object and selecting open or use. If you want to see which objects in a room are interactable, use the show objects bind F2 by default. 
I mean, that's kind of cool that there's a... Should I be inspecting things before I pick them up? I find nothing that interests me. Okay, we could go in there. Solid wooden door is banded in iron. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting to be able to go in all of the doors. In certain difficulty modes, only commands pertinent, pert, whatever. Yeah, I lost interest in that one. What's that? A magnificent waterfall cascades from the mouth of an ancient stone statue. Entire, uh, entity made entirely of water and mist. The li liquid element is continuously forming, forms and reforms in. Okay. Can I not interact with this? Uh, the marking looked like a Darwin craftsman stamp. Oh, I thought it was a spinning wheel. I mean, is there anything else here? Can I use... Can I throw a sword at it? Oh. It didn't like that. You lunge at the water element, succeeding only in getting drenched as the creature slips through your grasp. You heard a magical orb that can capture a creature like this. Okay. Oh. You're safe for now, I guess. Can I go in the water? Guess not. I'll go this way first. Ooh. Oh, those are levers. I want the torch. You hit the torch with a mighty punch that forces it downward. You hear a mechanism release, and then a rumbling beneath you. Okay, I I saw the thing occur. It's fine. You hit the torch with a mighty punch that forces it downward. Okay. Well, you've seen the visage of the warlock, Lord, and now you've been cursed. Okay. Some objects in the game are flammable. Set an object on fire by selecting your current torch. The use icon. It's kind of confusing. Your vision clears and the episode passes. Whoa, that was intense. I want the pumpkin. Okay, do I go downstairs now, I guess? Keybind objects. You can keybind anything in your inventory and some UI items. What, do I actually have to fight back? Can I not punch every window? Oh, more torches, though. Why did I punch the window? A jagged crack reflects the surface. Sure. Seated at the bottom of the opening is a metal door locked securely in place. Well, I shall go backwards. Go. A chill felt air. Double tap a command key, bind it to lock it. The game is very confusing control wise.
Your hand, you haul black and let loose with an uppercut. The resulting in sound has nothing to do with the ice. Rather, your fingers exploding. Okay. Uh oh. I am probably going to die. Equipping objects. Note the shield on the ground. This is an object you can equip. I didn't click equip. Game. Where'd the shield go? Oh, outfit. You lash the iron shield securely to your forearm. I don't know if the shield will block you from fire. That was convenient that I press spacebar. Is he attacking when I press space? I feel like he kind of is. With a battle cry, you rush headlong towards the dragon. Nope, maybe it's just automatic. Once again, the dragon bathes you in a molten stream of scorching fire. How do I attack him? With a battle cry, you rush. Okay. Nope. Can I hit him with this? With a shout, you launch yourself toward the dragon, swinging your hammer over your head. Uh-oh. I don't see my shield. Am I dying? Hey, quicker than you thought possible, the flame engulfs you. You scream the excruciating pain as you fight. Your flesh is seared from your bones. Nice. Tis a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. So is there permadeath? Okay. Well, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.